how would you like to save time and automate your chat GPT prompts? Well, now you can. My name's Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right guys, let's go check it out. Here we are at a place called TextBlaze. Now, if you don't know what TextBlaze is, it's a place that's actually going to save you a ton of time. And why is that the case? Well, if you have a lot of repetitive tasks that you do, that you're gonna be required to say, for example, write down a lot of information, then, and it's, and it's something that has to be repeated time and time again. Let's, let's say, for example, you have an email signature that you have constantly that you put on the bottom of all your emails. So all you need to do is put maybe for it forward slash TY and it'll write up your entire signature for you. It might be something like many thanks, your name and your business name and so forth. Now let's say, for example, you want to go to ChatGPT and you want to have a pre-written prompt that you can put into ChatGPT that is something that you use on a regular basis. Let's say, for example, you're a YouTuber and you use Pictory and you just want to be able to have ChatGPT to write up a script for you. You can have that pre-written and ready to go. Allow me to quickly show you the results of what it does. For example, if say, for example, you want to be able to have a script, all you have to do is go forward slash script one. And there it is. It has written up the first part of my prompt that I want to do and hi, my name is Henry Webster, I run a YouTube channel called, and I can write down the name of my channel. If you only have one channel, you only have to, you can pre have that pre-filled in. I have several channels, so I leave that one blank. Please write a, a detailed YouTube script about, and then I can write down what it's about. And then I talk about, about you know, being friendly and all that kind of stuff. And that's what it can do for you. Now, also other things it can do for you. Let's say, for example, you, Want to have something you want to summarize? Well, you can also use it to do that. Let me show you how it's done. Over here, we, over here in TextBlaze, which is the actual website itself, this is also a Chrome extension, which means you can go anywhere on the web in Chrome and be able to do this. Now, let's say, for example, you want to create, get it to write up a summary or summarize a particular type of text. You can then go here, click on this, and that will then take you to this section here. Now it's gonna say new snippet and you wanna change the name of that to summarize. And then go over here, write sum, forward slash sum. And then all you have to do is put down what it is you wanna be able to have to prompt. And you just go there and there you have it. Now let's go over here to ChatGPT and we'll get rid of that. And we can go forward slash sum. And there we have it. We now have our prompt ready to go and then we can just put whatever text we want summarized right in between these two sections just here. Now let's say for example, I've actually run a cleaning business in the past and I've had to write ad after ad after ad to employ cleaners. Now I would have saved a lot of time had I had ChatGPT back when I was running the cleaning business. And what I would have done was I would have created a prompt for ChatGPT and put that into text place. Now, how I'll do that is go over here, just type in this section just here, and then just call this one here, cleaning ad, and then I would have just gone here, forward slash C ad. And then I would have put the text, right, what I want down here. And now that has put in a prompt for what I would want to be able to have ChatGPT to create. Now remembering it's C ad. Now you do have a bunch of different ones down here. Now, if you say, for example, want to know what ones you've got, all you have to do is here's the plugin, keep it where you can actually see it at the top here, left click on it, and then it'll show you a bunch of different prompts that you actually have. And as you can see down here, you can actually see clean ad is C ad. So let's go here, get rid of that. Now all you have to do is go over here to ChatGPT and click on here, C ad forward slash, and there we have it. Now that has put the entire ad in there and all you have to do is hit that and it will let then allow ChatGPT to create an entire ad for you that you can then add to the site that you're wanting to encourage people to come and work for you. Of course, you can put down the name of your business if you wish to do that. And as you can see, it's filled out all the relevant information. Okay, so as you can see, it's got everything here that I wanna say. Competitive hourly rate, flexible work schedule, 
opportunity to join. Now, I didn't add every bit of information I wanted to put in there. For example, casual hours and so forth, or casual rates, but it it's pretty much done all that for me. And I've also put down where it is, the amount of my hourly rate is, it's $27 per hour. So that is essentially how you would use TextBlaze on your day-to-day -day basis. Now you can also, especially for, for things like ChatGPT. Now let's say, for example, you wanted to write an email up and you wanted to be able to do a signature. For example, all I have to do is go forward slash sync. You, here it writes my YouTube signature. And then if I wanted to put that in the bottom of my email, I can do that as well. I'm just going to be using this space to put my other ones that I can do now. So you can just go, that was just my sample folder. Let's go create a new folder by clicking this one here. And you can change the name to whatever you want. And to do that, all you do is just click it in here and call this one cleaning. And that'll be your cleaning folder. And if you want to be able to, say for example, create another one. Okay, you down here you've got now got your cleaning folder. If you want to be able to create another one, say for example, script prompts. You've now got your script prompts one right there. And let's say, for example, you want another one. And you can just do that time and time again. I don't need to show you how to do it. I've already shown you once. You don't need it again. But you get the point. And you can have folder after folder after folder. And you can pop your, your prompts right in here. So, for example, with this one, I can grab this one and drag it down. And I can pop it straight into my script for prompt folder. And I'll put it straight inside there. So you can put that in various folders and so forth. And it'll, it'll create it for you. Now you also have over here, say for example, you want to be able to add some extra information Go over here. You've got all these different things over here. You can do time and date, clipboard, place cursor, text field. You can also do paragraph fields and drop down menus and a whole bunch of other things you can do. And it's all over here. So let's say for example, you want to be able to put a time and date. You can add that as well. And you can see the various fields in which they do. And you can learn and, and you can use these to go in here. Now, let's say, for example, you want to be able to have ChatGPT create a blog post for you. Very, very simple. All you have to do is put the prompt that you want to have just there. And then, of course, call this blog post and then call this one here forward slash BP. Now, the best part about this is I've got blank spaces just here. And then all you need to do is go back over here to ChatGPT and go forward slash BP. And here it is ready to go. And all you have to do is fill in the blanks just there and you can add the various keywords or you can get it to actually write the keywords for you and give you a list of keywords if you want to do that. I like to have a little bit more control over my blog posts and I like to think about the type of keywords I would like to have put in there because I've done some research on what are the best keywords to go in there. So what I would do is I would say, these are the best keywords I want you to put in there. Please include them. And that's what I would do. But other than that, if you want the ChatGPT to come up with a with them all you have to do is write that in there please give me a list of relevant keywords for this blog post and then all we have to do is go back over here to chat gpt get rid of all that and see how it's made the change forward slash bp and there we have it it's now fixed up it's created the change as we spoke and it literally is as easy as that all right guys if you got some value out of this video have you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of TextBlaze. All right, now just to also let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.